at 10 on Queen City News. I'm Robin Kennedy. Neighbors and businesses along West Sugar Creek Road in Charlotte are fed up with the violence. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks tells us what a restaurant did today, refusing to let crime take over. Yellow balloons were prominent outside of a West Sugar Creek Road McDonald's early Saturday morning for the grand reopening and community fair. Over the last two years, we have found a way to align with the city of Charlotte with the local police department, the local business owners, as well as the residents to start rebuilding the brand image for the businesses and the Sugar Creek residents. The city says neighbors in the area were complaining of high crime on their streets. In the last five months, there have been nearly 900 calls for service. We've Jesus Christ. I mean, it doesn't look like much is on this street. Yo, there's only 365 days in a year. <laughs> yeah, and this doesn't look like a zone for business. This looks like fucking goddamn parkway or something, or an avenue, a road or something. Where's all the stores? It just, what are they, are they hanging out at the McDonald's? That's probably what Black Wall Street looks like. Because there's a McDonald's in D.C., several of them, where... It's, it's, it's several of them. Damn. I was about to name them, but now that I think about it, no, I'm talking about ones where sun people hang out at. I'm talking about, like, that's their office. That's their, like, you know what I'm saying? That's, like, their fucking place of business. It's, like, that's where they fucking set up shop and shit. You know what I'm saying? They do everything there. They do their, they, they do their transactions. They fight that motherfucker. They chill in there. They, it's like when you go in certain McDonald's in D.C., you going into the neighborhood. Like you, it's like walking into like a Project Breezeway or something, or a fucking courtyard at some project. <laughs> hey, Sounds niggas rough. have shut a couple McDonald's down in Philly. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably what this was. That's probably what the vibe was here, man. Can, can you I, imagine owning that, Ike? Owning that one of those McDonald's? I know one thing. You better not say nothing to them son words. Because if you if 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 you're a franchise, because remember if these are franchises a lot of times, right? So the person owns the McDonald's. The McDonald's is basically a real estate company. They sell you their name, and they and of course they send you the food to sell, but it's really your business. You know what I'm saying? Instead right, of yeah. selling, instead of like having a restaurant where you serve, make a menu, you just have a restaurant where you serve McDonald's. Yes, franchise. Yo, yes. Do they have security guards, the ones you mentioned? The ones I mean, I think a couple of them do, but then that security guy got to live there, man. He got to fucking deal with these people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? He gotta he gotta pick his battles. He gotta know when to hold him and know when to fold him. He can't be, you know, you know what I'm saying? He gotta play nice with them people too. Cause there's so much shit going on. Business owners as well as the residents to start rebuilding the brand image for the businesses and the Sugar Creek residents. The city says neighbors in the area were complaining of high crime on their streets. In the last five months, there have been nearly 900 calls for service. We formed the Sugar Creek Business Association, and we said that here is where we were putting... <laughs> Look at these sun words over here, man. Damn, they just hanging. They hanging, man. They had to close down a couple of parks. They got a couple of parks in D.C. where they had benches. Oh, Lord, why do they put benches in parks? I'm talking about little teeny parks. I'm talking about like where the street catty corner, and you know how like you can make a right or a left onto a little street instead of going straight. It, 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 the little catty corner um parks, it's not even. It may even be like motherfucking. May the park may be a thousand square feet, but it got a bench there. Oh my god, it be fucking. They be hanging out. That's their little. And it used to be old heads and unks. Unks and old, like, old broads and old heads and, like, rejects and shit and, and drug users and shit. But they be fucking bringing the property value down, man. They had one called Scooby Island. They thought they was slick. They was going to turn it into concrete. They ripped up all the grass and made it concrete. 
That shit ain't do nothing. There's nothing you can do with these people. Once they get a little spot to hang out at, man, there's really nothing you can do, man. And it could be any the fucking lines. the entire day. It'll be the entire damn weekday. Oh, yeah, definitely. They ain't going nowhere. We said that here is where we will put in guidelines for how we will tolerate or not tolerate certain acts. And don't let it be a group home or halfway house in the vicinity. Oh, Lord. Better go on. So what you'll see is that uh, by working with the police, we've seen a better response rate. The police are our partners. Zara says the new look of the restaurant included increased and enhanced safety features. Crews installed more security fencing around the building in hopes of making it less easy for drug crimes and other crimes. They also added more cameras on the outside of the building with blue lights. When police officers are dispatched using 911, the uh, Real Crime Center in uh, the city of Charlotte is able to immediately... Look at all this shit you got to do to fucking have a fucking McDonald's and shit. I mean, come on, you got to have, like, command centers, like Star Trek and shit for a fucking McDonald's in the hood and shit. Tax dollars. Yeah, man. God damn, man. This shit like the president, man. They ain't got this much shit for the president, man. <laughs> Salute to PL said he said at least he didn't approach from behind to protect everyone. Yeah, he would have been fucked if he did that. Salute to Tracy Jones. He says, for the show tonight, Augusta George is getting worse. All right, we're gonna check out Augusta, man. Is that by Atlanta? Nah, but it's in Georgia. It's, it's, it's further south than that. Salute to Honky Kong again. He says, that's Charlotte, North Carolina. As soon as you turn off the main road, you in neighborhoods. Okay, yeah. Neighborhoods. The uh, Real Crime Center in uh, the city of Charlotte is able to immediately zone in on these cameras, and then they could help identify and prioritize where they need to dispatch officers. City leaders voted six to three in April to approve a $4.2 million revitalization. Of course, they got a system there. ...plan for the area. West Sugar Creek Road is one of six under... Hold on, how much money they going to do to try to clean this shit up? Prove a $4.2 million revitalization... $4.2 million and them niggas ain't going nowhere. <laughs> You spent four point two million dollars just to make it nicer for them sun words over there. Plan for the area. West Sugar Creek Road is one of six underserved areas in the community the city wants to fix, calling them corridors of opportunity. The approval gave officials the green light to demolish two seemingly empty motels along Reagan Drive, the economy and budget in. The motels have long oh, been a side. Motels around there? Tell them about motels, Reese. What you know about motels, man, in the vicinity of Sun Men, man? Oh, man. <laughs> I've seen motels turn into hoods by themselves. Oh, yeah. yeah. All you need is about four or five units of, of, of like, somebody selling weed. Yeah. <laughs> Pimping ain't, it's over. Pimping ain't easy. Oh. And there'll be cars pulling up in, that, in and out of that joint all day long like it's a mall or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. They turn this out quick. And, it, and it, when they once they turn it out, it ain't turning off, man. They turn these joints out, and it stay like that for decades. Yeah. That's why I was telling, we did a story a couple of weeks ago, this girl, Asian girl, she came to D.C. for a concert, and she got stabbed to death. You remember that one? Yeah. Some man stabbed her to death. It was like, it's one of the, it's like, tourists, you aren't supposed to stay at the, when you go on a fucking ladder, you look at hotels, you're supposed to look at the rating. This joke will have like a 2.5 or a 2.2 rating. This ain't like a joint where you stay at if you come to Charlotte. For you know what I'm saying for for visiting, this is right. This so is yeah. So you don't take your family there? No, 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 no. But if you're a tourist, you might just be online looking for a room, and you don't know. You know what I'm saying? But you you gotta you gotta do your research, man. You gotta look at the reviews and read the comments because people will tell you in the comments. Yeah, what they the do. real deal is. 
site for criminal activity as neighbors use the buildings for long-term affordable housing. So today, the fair, we walked around and asked the homeless community, how can we support you? How can we make you better? So we brought out resources that they can have today so they can become a better productive person. Reporting in Charlotte, Shakir Speaks Queen, City News. Free stuff.